third in the ACC. Here's the kick, and it's over the head of Leary. There'll be no return, and Georgia Tech with Haynes King starts first and 10, and it's 25. Carolina's so good. That's the freshman Singleton in motion. This is Jamal Haynes, and first guy was Power Eccles to hit him at the 36. Haynes will dig out another yard for a Georgia Tech. So King now third down and eight for Georgia Tech. Quick snap, low throw to Jamal Haynes. It is ruled incomplete. Carolina smartly chased it. Giovanni Biggers. Looked like on his right ankle area after that throw. First punt of the night for David Shanahan. Elijah Huzzy, a fair catch in Carolina. Will scrimmage around its 25. There's an injured Georgia Tech player on the play. Going to take a lot for him to be out of this game, guys. Proved it on the opening snap. And here's Amarian Hampton with 10 yards on his first carry of the night. Carolina doesn't care. They hand it off to Hampton and rips a 10-yard run. And here's another one and Hampton breaking near the 50-yard line. Another run, 14 this time. So 24 on the first two carries of the night for Amarian Hampton. May's first throw of the night. Drake up in the pocket. Crossing route that J.J. Jones got hit at the Georgia Tech 29-yard line. Basically a hat for a hat, and Hampton's just too big to allow to get rolling into the second level. And Hampton will wheel toward the 11. Tech brings four. May to the end zone. Nesbitt. Did he hold on? He did. Touchdown Carolina and Bryson Nesbitt. Protect the receiver because he's in traffic. Keep him low. And is seven nothing now, Carolina. The pass rush for Carolina is really good. This is not the environment you want to be living in. Barfield bringing four. King in the pocket again. Back foot throw and a catch. A sliding grab by Malik Rutherford. Back to that third down completion, Wes. This is really well done by King. Some pressure in his face. Got to drift a little bit. You said it is his back foot, but, you know, it's not a real down-the-field throw. So he's able to get enough on it, and then just nice concentration. King dumps it underneath, and whoa, what a collision. At the 46, maybe the 47-yard line. Hands does get in the ball game. Cooley out. They're going to hand it to Haynes, and I think he got tripped up. Carolina got him at the 46 and a half. Stick Lane, who started his college career down the street at Georgia State a year ago, but transferred in the portal. And here's Brooks bouncing off for the first down and inside the 30 yard line of Georgia Tech. Defensive linemen already slow getting in their stances. May will keep it to his right. Drake on the perimeter. He will slide down. First and 10 coming. Handing the ball right side, and Biggers had him and lost him, and Hampton breaks free. Touchdown, Carolina. That quite a bit about his effort to the football. Listen, when Biggers has him wrapped up. Ninth touchdown of the year. Through two possessions, it has been a heavy dose of Amari and Hampton in the Carolina run game. Here's King on first down, eludes Atkinson's pressure. Haynes King will stretch it out and get the first down. Top 10 off ball linebacking prospect. Here's a throw. Nice catch on the front. Look at Rutherford shake Gray and get the first down. Now you see me, now you don't from Malik Rutherford. God. And I'm telling you what, they just they, they would not be surprised if it comes to fourth down if they go for it again. They're going to hand it to Smith. He'll sweep to the right. Dante Smith, the first down. Banged out of bounds into the Carolina bench at the Tar Heel 38 by Elijah Huzzy. Create a little confusion. Here is King from the pocket and got Rutherford and a big lick. That's Huzzy. What a terrific transfer Elijah Huzzy's been in the Carolina secondary. And that, but I do think going for it based on how you haven't been able to stop him makes sense. Down 14 nothing. Here's King. Carolina bringing the house. King jump pass. Tried to throw it on the perimeter. Georgia Tech wanted a flag, didn't get it. Carolina gets it on downs again with Marcus Allen defending Malik Rutherford. Remember that 90 national championship team coaches their defensive line. Third and nine. Pressure coming from the perimeter on May. 
down the seam, Nesbitt into Georgia Tech territory at the 32 goes Bryson Nesbitt. Listed as a tight end at 6-5. May backed up, flips it to Hampton. And Amarian will get it back to where the original line was at the 32. Averaging just 35-7. He did have a 50-yarder against Miami on his first day of work. And Blaylock will ask for and make the fair catch near the Georgia Tech. 30 yard line. They were testing out that left hand, pressing on it, asking him to make a fist. But like I said earlier, he is tough. Going to take a lot for him to get out of this game. First catch of the night for Eric Singleton. Part of the reason they just threw it to him three times in a row. Yep. And here's a low throw that's grabbed by Rutherford. Breaks through. Malik Rutherford sets sail. And a touchdown for Georgia Tech. That's right, Wes. They needed to respond. And they do it through the air. Hayes King not feeling good coming off the last drive. Responds this drive from Georgia Tech back in it. The pass on the three previous plays also comes up with a big block. And the point after from Burr is good. Four minutes gone, second quarter. May loads for Nesbitt. Caught it in stride. Bryson keeps his feet to the 25 to the Georgia Tech 24-yard line. So you're going to get a split safety look here, and Drake May is going to start with his eyes to the right, and he's going to bend it out and then to the middle, and it's just vacated in the middle. A little stem out like you're running to the corner and then get to the middle. It's a beautiful route by a tight end. Nesbitt and Jones near side. Walker to the boundary at the top. They're going to hand it to British Brooks. Big hole inside the 10. First and goal, Carolina. I mean, look how big this hole is. I mean, it's just, where, where does everyone go? You could drive a truck through there. British Brooks to the left side and scores for Carolina. Brooks has got his second rushing score of the year. And the Tar Heels do answer the Georgia Tech touchdown to push it back to a two TD advantage. And just ahead of two minutes. This is what I mean. It's really an inside zone run play. He's just able to outrun the Miles Brooks to the pylon. And Burnett's point is good. And King going to keep it. Got five, got ten, and spun around by Don Chapman after a run of right at 13, 14 yards. Here's King, the pump, now going to take the deep shot for the rookie, Singleton comes back, cannot make the catch, and there's the flag on pass interference against Tayon Holloway. Lined up correctly. Yep, back to the 39, Smith will head to the left side. Trying to keep his feet, does, and Smith won't go down. He's going to be hard to tackle tonight, Power Eccles. Pistol set here for King, fourth down, play fake by King. He wants to take the shot downfield, it is caught! Scyther, touchdown Georgia Tech! Do you like the call? Basically a bunch look to the top, play action, and then you end up getting man coverage off of the play action. It's Scyther who's lined up, and Don Chapman's got to run through a bunch of traffic to get through it. Brett Scyther who transferred from Georgia. Brooks is the running back. Georgia Tech bringing heat. May stands in the pocket and hits Nesbitt, who caught it, took a stride, and fumbled it. It's going to be ruled incomplete. And Smith has returned to the lineup, and right away, Power Eccles fires through. King going to take the shot for Singleton. Caught it! First down. What a catch against Elijah Hussey for the rookie, Eric Singleton. Go back to the throw. It's just a good job of then stacking the defensive back by Singleton. You use that of Hussey. That's well done. Here's Smith dancing to the 21. Stick lane, the tackle. That's Rutherford. Here's the throw. Rutherford, the catch at the 10. They won't be slowing down. They scored a touchdown. So 
five. Yeah, just a little action to spit it out. It's basically a sweep to a receiver, and it's not complicated. I will say this, you know, is it, I think there's a you know, lack of depth in certain areas for Georgia Tech. They got receivers that can run. And breaking tackles. The kick is good. Tied at 21. It's playing out for Carolina. Here's May. Shot throw to Walker. First catch of the night for Tez Walker. Walker to the top of your screen. May going to run. He's got the first down and gets to the 50. And look at that. I'm going to beat up the officials on, on this, but the reality is. First and 10. Jackets bringing pressure. May steps up. Guns for Walker. Caught. Taz Walker inside the 20 of Georgia Tech. Two big catches in the drive, Tim. Just running the deep over route here. May looks to his left. Coverage kind of a, comes up for throw on the over. 32-yard throw. May going to work again. Steps up in the pocket. He'll run with it. Get to the 10. It'll be first and goal at the 7. He just takes off running. Here's Brooks, and a flag is thrown with 49 seconds left. Now, Carolina's got three timeouts. Amari and Hampton the carry and bounces into the end zone. Second touchdown of the night for Hampton. Went 17 yards in the first quarter. Rings the bell here from three. Part of it as well, but this is what I mean about Hampton. There's Jalen King at the line of scrimmage, but look, it's just a bigger back in the hole than your defender. Burnett to try and push it to a touchdown advantage. And the kick is good. Well, second and one. Straight ahead goes Haynes, and he got the first down. Half minute to go in the half. And King to throw. Rolls to his right. Singleton, the target, caught it. Out of bounds at the 43 at Carolina. It's a freshman. Feels like a guy that's been playing college football for five years. Look at the numbers for Singleton. Here's King again, back for Singleton. What a catch! And gets spun out of bounds by Marcus Allen. Another terrific catch by the rookie Singleton. Burr's longest field goal, 46 last week against BC. King, King up in the pocket, going to shoot it sideline, and stepping out of bounds with six seconds left is Eric Singleton. To a four-point game. Snap, spot. Kick from Burr is perfect. So Aiden Burr from 40 yards ends the half. Puts him on the door of 100 yards, and May will shoot it to him in the backfield, and he's taken down behind the line. Walker's in a slot right. May looks that way. Here comes the pressure. Sacked for the first time tonight. Kyle Cunard. Dropped his eyes. You see the pressure from his left. He kind of drops his eyes. It was pretty quick. What an early win for Brent Key's team. That is blocked. And it will scramble across to the 41. And that's where Georgia Tech will play from. Amari Harvey. Or no, it's dual Janah. It's the other 18 on the roster. Block by Georgia Tech since 2013, third most in FBS, and here is King up in the pocket, looping it downfield, and almost, well, it was intercepted by Don Chapman. Is it a pick or not? They confer at the 15, incomplete. Within a whisker of his fifth career interception. Dodges a ball. There's no way this ball should be thrown there, and there's they're going to look at this because I think there's a chance that the left foot is in by Chapman. If he possesses it right there, that left foot is in bounds. Right. But really just a bad decision by King. We'll see if he gets away with it. Timeout Atlanta. Here's May from the pocket again. He'll escape and has the first down and then slides down at the 29. Yeah, and it's it's another good job of May when he doesn't like it to feel it and it just kind of opens up for you sometimes as a passer and then that second and halfway for Carolina. Hampton again 
lowered the shoulder and will get the first down. I think his mates helped him. Clayton Powell Lee was the first guy in a white helmet there for Georgia Tech from back in 1985. Here's May. Pumps up in the pocket, brought down. It'll be a sack. The yard behind the line. Third and long. Shovel pass. This is Hampton. 40, first down, 45, midfield. Amari and Hampton into Georgia Tech territory at the 37. Second and seven. May. On the perimeter, catch made, Kamari Morales. We've talked about Copenhagen. We've certainly talked about Bryson Nesbitt. They have tight ends that can beat you a bunch of different ways. And Hampton converts third and short to the 19-yard line. Walker to the top. May now takes off and has room at the 10, at the 5. Drake May a touchdown. 17-yard run. For Drake May. Working to his left, doesn't like it, feels a little pressure. And then making that quick decision, and then you see the speed. I mean, he just, he's a passer who sees things well, but Andre White, who was trying to man the middle there, couldn't keep up with him. And the point after is good, so it's an 11-point margin now. Jamal Haynes again. Oh, my. Right into the middle and then slung across the first down line by Kevin Hester. Third and the full ten for the Jackets. King going to take the deep shot. This is Singleton trying to turn back. And he had three white shirts around him. Armani Chapman. Sometimes you play too quick, which I think partly the case there. You can throw the ball into some trouble. Good looking punt. It will hit inside the ten. Jackets going to try and chase it down, and they do. Carolina going to be pinned deep. Shanahan. Delivers a beautiful punt. Third and one. Carolina seven of ten on third down. And Brooks has the first down. And still driving toward the 20. Play clock down to three for oh, May. Georgia Tech, you should have subbed and forced him to take a timeout. Yeah, here is uh, Amari and Hampton first down. Going to hand it to Hampton, trying to get to the perimeter, and can't get there. Really nice run pursuit by the Jackets. Braylon Oliver, the Minnesota transfer. With Dominic Blaylock waiting on a punt from Tom McGinnis of Carolina. Pretty good looking punt. Blaylock will signal for and make the fair catch, backing up around the 13-yard line. Well, does not play Florida State, Tim. Here is Dante Smith again. First down run out to the 25. You just wonder if between last week, this week, they're starting to wear down a little bit just in terms of the volume of snaps they've faced defensively. Yeah. And King faked the handoff, now shoots it to Leary. And Christian Leary across the midfield line and into Carolina territory. Knocked out at the 47. Prevents you from having a legal man downfield. And here goes Haynes, a gaping hole. He'll ride to the perimeter, try to keep his feet, and finally shoved out of bounds by Biggers. Good heavens. Getting worn down. Watch Weston Franklin, the center. Just stay with him the whole way. And look at the block that he ends up getting on Power Eccles. You wonder why you end up getting such a big run. I mean, it's Here's Haynes again, following blockers, and he will break the five. And it is first and goal, Georgia Tech. 12 19 to go in a moving clock. Biggers makes the save on the. Quick snap. Here's Haynes again, trying to take white shirts with him and does for the touchdown. Jamal Haynes. Fifth touchdown of the year. Two-point tag, three-point game. Tim told you to cut it to three. King, and this is Rutherford next two points. The three principal ball carriers tonight for Georgia Tech. And this ball got skipped along the ground, picked up by uh, Doc Chapman, the freshman. He's headed to the far side, and this youngster can fly. Tyshawn Chapman is tackled in plus territory at the 38-yard line. So 
it's a great job of Chapman just hitting it hard. A ton of speed. Picks up a couple good blocks, and in the open field, you can see that speed. Got to remember to gear down, too. Seeing that tonight. Here's May from the pocket. Hit as he throws. Looking for Chapman. Touchdown, Carolina. My goodness, the rookie had the kick return, and now gets his first career touchdown catch. Chapman's just going to come inside and run through the middle here, and the safeties are going to go essentially spread out with Tez Walker, and because they do that, it's Chapman's Two plays, speed. 38 yards, Carolina in the end zone, tries to push it back to 10 and does. And Georgia Tech right over the football. Smith's got 70 yards on 13 carries, and look out. It's a foot race with Don Chapman, and Dante Smith is going to... Is it a touchdown? Yes! These were really well blocked, and I think that Cedric Gray just overruns this. Watch, excuse me, Power Eccles just overruns this. As he overruns it, there's no one there for Smith. Smith, I think the, the break tackles kind of back, but plenty of speed to get in the end zone, and they were excited to have him back, and you can see why. And the kick is good from Burr. May on first down to throw. Shoots it down the field. J.J. Jones says he's got it at the 42, and he does. Stop route, and May does a good job of hanging with him. Jones sells the vertical, throws on the brakes, and... And British Brook stays in the game. Gonna fake the handoff to Walker. May wants to take the shot. There's Nesbitt caught at the 30. Bryson spins inside the 25 and a Tar Heel first down at the 24. And it's all this eye candy in the backfield with the fake to test. May now going to run with it. Going to head for the far side and he got shoved out of bounds by Tatum. His longest 48. Kick is away. It's no good. An even seven to play. And wow, Haynes King kept it. Faked it to Dante Smith, and here goes King. Inside the Carolina 30. If you go back to the first down play, Cayman Rucker's about to run this down from behind. I think Haynes King just decided to pull it himself and then follow him. We heard about his speed. And it was an excellent job of him using his speed. And going fast is certainly an advantage. Here's Dante Smith. He'll get five. He'll get eight. That's a first down. He got more than that. Clipped it off pretty good. Dante Smith to the right side. And he'll be knocked out of bounds at the three. First and goal, Georgia Tech. Chapman and Allen get to him before he can score. This is what I mean, just moving them. They're just basically getting all kinds of movements. Jordan Williams at right tackle. He's not healing the edge. There's Smith, and what a play by Evans. Goodness, Desmond Evans. Snap to King. Carolina trying to get there. King to his right. Looks back. Now comes set. Got to do something. Throws for the end zone. It's caught. Is it a touchdown? They're talking it over. Scyther trying for his second score of the night. Well, look at this or not. The kick is good. On 28 carries. Here's May to his right. He'll shoot it to Copenhaver. It's Eford, the linebacker, who tries to make the play. But, boy, John Copenhaver turns the corner and rolls upfield for a pickup of 22. Jackets rush four. May up in the pocket, off balance, keeps his feet, throws back to the middle of the field. It's caught. Morales, it'll be a first down. Hampton, rather. rather. Georgia Tech with three on the line, brings three. May with time. Trying to buy it, shoots it downfield. Walker first down at the 30. Jarred loose and recovered by the Jackets, K.J. Wallace. 
knowing where everybody is, Drake May gets a great pocket, and he moves, and he buys time. And Tez decides to work for him across the field. He just doesn't see the defender coming off of Copenhaver as Amari Harvey. And he just gets him right in the midsection. Wow. I don't know if there's any way to know. I mean, the ball is even in his right hand, but he just gets hit so hard from Harvey. Does not. They hand the ball. That is Smith, and he got to the 35, and that's a first down. There's the snap with two. Here's Dante Smith. Out to the 40 to run a five on first down. And Carolina uses their last timeout. Second down. King will keep it, and Rucker slings him around. Three yards shy of the first down with 1.45 to go. The clock starts. That's Smith, sidecar left of King. Hand is to Smith, and Dante Smith has sealed another Georgia Tech win over North Carolina. Guides Georgia Tech to their 19th win in the last 25 games against North Carolina.